Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna try to recreate the abalone effect on a fishing lure by using a hot stamping foil and some paint. And we're starting right now. But first before we start painting I want to talk a little bit about abalone and its sustainability. First of all, for those who don't know what abalone is, abalone is a natural material that comes from an animal. Abalone is a shell and that comes from a shellfish. So it's a natural material that is harvested from living creatures. So I did some research about abalone and I found out a few things that I think is really important to know before you start working with that material. So abalone has a few different subspecies and they differ a little bit in color and in patterns. But some of these subspecies are already threatened to be extinct within a few years. Most of the abalone used for lure painting, which is the cheapest source, comes from eastern countries. And the problem is that in eastern countries it can also be sold on the black market. So you don't really know where your abalone comes from. And it might as well be illegally harvested from a threatened species. So it's very important that you know where the product comes from, if should you buy it because you might be financially supporting an illegal operation or you might even be financially supporting the extinction of an animal. Also very interesting to know is that in California it's illegal to pick abalone shells and sell them or make something with that and sell that product. It is only legal to pick up abalone shells in California for personal use. And some abalone species in California are already protected species. So that's why I think it's very important that you know these things because I want people to be conscious when they are buying or using abalone. So we're quickly going to hot stamp our lures with a foil that you can find on lureblanks.eu and this is really easy to apply. If you're not familiar with the process you can see that in another video. I will leave a link in the description below to that video so that you can learn how to do hot stamping at home. Here I have three examples and as you can see these two lures in the back they have a flat surface while this lure has a scale pattern carved out. So that really gives a different result as well because then the pattern of the, the fake abalone or the, or the foil is, is broken and so the gill plates totally look different than the body itself. There's also another thing you can do, you can decide on which direction you want the foil to be. These three are all horizontal while this lure in the making I did the hot stamping foil vertical. So as you can see here that hot stamping foil is in a different direction and that also gives a totally different effect. Now we're gonna paint these and we're gonna do some cool stuff with it. I'm gonna show you a little bit of creative ideas I got and we're also gonna recreate a little bit more of a realistic abalone or try to at least. So let's see what we can cook up. Right, so as you can see I poured out my black paint and when I'm looking at a few reference pictures of abalone then you can see that some abalones, not all of them, they have these kind of a black lines here and there creating a really nice texture and creating some depth. So we're gonna paint those on there following the pattern of the foil just drawing a few black lines here and there to give it a little bit more depth and it's gonna feel more real at the end. But of course you can also decide to just leave it as it is, like on this lure, no black lines, no paint over it, just clean foil and that is super reflective and that's going to attract a lot of pike in this case. So that's going gonna, gonna to work very well and it's going to give a really clean and nice effect too. All 
Alright, so for this one I masked off the gill plates with some liquid mask and now with some Kenny 2 Blood Red I'm simply gonna make the body red and then we're gonna finish the gill plates and that's the lure pattern. It's gonna be very simple. Now with that same black we're gonna do the same thing on these gill plates as we did on those other lures. Alright, so now for these two we're gonna create a little bit more of a blue greenish abalone. And I'm gonna use Kenny 2 for that. So I'm gonna use Curry Blue and Poison Green, to, which are two very bright candy colors. And instead of spraying them on with an airbrush, I'm gonna dip them on with a paper towel just to get that uneven texture and color saturation, that, that blending in as well. We're gonna try to recreate that by dipping the paint on there instead of airbrushing. Because if we're gonna airbrush it on there, it's gonna be very faded and it's not gonna look like real abalone. Abalone has that very special structure, those colors that blend in each other but still have kind of a crisp edge here and there. So we're gonna create that with dipping by a paper towel. So there we go guys, that actually looks like real abalone. Um, I am surprised how realistic it actually turned out. Uh, I am very excited to put a clear coat on this so it all becomes a little bit more transparent again and I think that is really gonna represent real abalone very well. But the difference is this is way easier to apply, it is quite easy to do, as you have seen it's just hot stamp your lures, put a little paint on there, draw a few black lines and dip on uh, a few tones of candy. I used green, blue and yellow and dark blue just to get some different colors in there. The blue is gonna be the darker, the green is gonna brighten up everything a little bit, yellow is gonna make it very bright again and then the dark blue is gonna give some dark spots in there so you get all these kind of colors and depths going on in there. And then combined with the holographic sheen that's underneath, you really get a feeling you're looking at abalone here. But it's better for nature because we don't need to farm any animals. So I'm going to finish up these lures now and then I'm going to show the end result. As always, I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used to paint these slurs. This will guide you to my web shop and if you would buy anything there, you will be supporting me and the channel. If you got any questions, suggestions or you want to add some more information about sustainability and abalone, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.